Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to be reviewing the dome skin today. As you can see on the back of my iPad 2, I have a dome skin. On the front, I have the smart cover. Now the dome skin does come with a front cover, but I want to be able to actually use the nice Apple smart cover. And because the skin actually sticks up around here, it makes it very difficult to do that. So as you can hear, every time I lift, lift this off, it kind of sticks to the... the uh, surface that you're setting your iPad 2 on. This skin sticks up a little bit. You can see it's printed nicely. Uh, it actually looks pretty good, although personally I don't like things to cover the back of the, the iPad. I kind of like to see what it looks like. I like the design. However, it is a nice skin because it provides a little bit of protection as far as uh, you know drop protection, that sort of thing. It is definitely grippy. It feels very good when you're holding it. It doesn't slide around or anything. It's, it's very, very grippy, this uh, rubberized or plastic material. The skin itself does add a little bit of bulk, but not too much, but I do have some complaints about the skin. The skin is obviously made for iPad 2. It's made pretty well. You can see there's a camera cut out here. You've got your speaker cut out here, and it fits perfectly. It's really well made as far as that goes. However, it's because of this curvature on the side, it sticks up. Um, in different areas. It keeps coming undone on the, on the adhesive and it does stick up. The main complaint I have with that really is that it's going to get dirt and dust under it and eventually maybe unstick the skin. However, I guess I, if, you, if you did this over time and kept playing around with it, you might get it to stick, but you do get this wavy look. I think if you leave it alone, it will look better. Right around the speaker though, where it starts to flatten out, it actually looks a lot better. So I'm not really sure what to think about it that way. However, it does do a nice job and fits well and is and is cut perfectly. And I think anyone that appreciates this type of skin would really, really like it. You're not going to scratch it. It's thick. Uh, if you set it down, it's not going to slip if you bump it or anything. It's definitely more sticky than uh, any skin I've ever used on an iPad or an iPhone. So definitely check that out. Now let's do one more thing before we finish up this review. Let's go ahead and remove the skin and see how difficult that is because that's a concern for many. This is 3M tape. Let's see, we'll start peeling here. And it does take a, a good amount of force, but the nice thing is, unlike some of the other products, it looks like we're not going to actually stretch the product as we take it off. Um, it, it does have like a little wrinkled look to it. But one thing is, is you don't want to ruin the skin that you paid for. So what you can do is probably, assuming the adhesive is still decent, we could probably put it back on tape. Yeah, the adhesive actually looks decent. It sticks really quite a lot. And I guess with more play, you could get it to stick around the edges. I'm not really sure, but it is the adhesive goes all the way to the edges. So I guess you could do that if you took your time and, and stuck it down there. Around this, the hole there, it looks like uh, it looks okay. I thought maybe it, it stretched or something along those lines, but it looks pretty decent. Check back for the giveaway. If you have any questions, though, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Please give a, a like or a thumbs up to the video. I really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit subscribe. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.